When it comes to learning songs, harmonica is a challenging instrument. The main issue that I face is a lack of quality harmonica tabs. There are these shoddily put together internet tabs, but they're often wrong and they usually lack rhythmic information as well. Really, your best bet is to buy a songbook. But since most players don't read music and rhythms, a lot of the information will probably just be lost on you if you're in that camp. I do have a solution. It does require a little bit of work on your part, but it's much easier than just winging it, especially when you want to learn a song that you just can't find a lesson for. So stay tuned for the rest of this video and Mrs. Fox is going to show you how to set up music that looks like this. I'm a star. I was born for this. No, I'm just kidding. Hi, I'm Kayla Fox. Jonah needs to rest his voice, so I'll be taking over today's lesson. Today we're going to use guitar tabbing software to make some quality playable harmonica music using the vocal melodies of some popular songs. You will need some basic scale knowledge to make this work, at least for the first position, so go ahead and check out Jonah's Harmonica Accelerator course to learn how to practice scales effectively. For everything else, you will need a computer. What I'll be showing you works both on a PC and a Mac. Also, this video is part one of three. Today I will show you the concept and how to download songs that you like. Next week, we will work through an easy Christmas song together, and in two weeks, we will show you some tips for learning songs in this way. For today's example, let's use John Denver's Take Me Home, Country Roads. The first step is, is to get the, <laughs> the first step is to get a program to do this. The best free option is Tux Guitar, and the best paid one is Guitar Pro. For Harmonica, Guitar Pro has a much better interface. Those programs will be listed below. They work about the same, but Guitar Pro makes much more readable music. I will be using Guitar Pro, but everything I'm going to tell you works in both programs. Next, we need a song. I play guitar too, and I use Ultimate Guitar for my music. That's where we're going to find our tabs. So go ahead and search for Country Roads and scroll down to the tabs that say Guitar Pro. Usually I choose the tabs with the best ratings, but listen to them first. You are looking for a tab with a written out vocal melody, like this one. Next, you will download it and open it up in Tox Guitar or Guitar Pro. I use Guitar Pro, so let's do that. It has a month trial, so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. Open the tab and you will see this. Let's choose the second track with the melody. This is what we will try to learn. Take a listen. This program is really useful. It will let you listen to the music, slow things down, and loop them until you have a part learned. But there are some issues that we need to deal with before you can start learning. These tabs are not written for harmonica, so there are a few things that we should adjust. First, harmonicas come in one key. So we're going to need music to match what we have. See the key signature? Let's look it up. Type ch -ch 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 key signature chart into Google and you will see that this song is an A. So you can go ahead and use an A harmonica as is, no problem. What if you only have a C? Let's think. To get to C, we need to go up the musical scale. A, A sharp, B, then C. That's three half stops. Then try this. Go to tools, then transpose. Select all bars and all tracks, and then tune up three half steps. Done. Now let's take that key signature away. All set. You can hide the guitar tab too if you want by clicking over here. Now we have the melody for Country Roads in C, ready to be learned. To do this well, you will need to know the notes in the first position and be able to somewhat read notes or at least reference a chart. Jonah will make a chart for you next week. Before we continue, 
If this video is helpful, would you help us out and click the like button? Thanks. From here, we have to find the notes. You have to do this when learning a song anyways, so this is just one extra step. Let's try the first phrase. We have the notes G, G, A, G. We need to find those notes on our harmonica. G is to draw and A is to whole stop bend. Click on the note, press T, and type it in. Once you figure out a note, just fill the next ones in. If everything seems too low, you can use the transpose tool to move it up the octave. You can then adjust the style sheet to make the harmonica tabs more readable too, like I've done on mine. So you can learn songs just like any other musician. Good job! You're doing great so far! So go ahead and keep working through the notes, and before you know it, you'll have a whole song tabbed out in a format that is actually useful. So then you can learn songs like any other musician, without those awful harmonica tabs we usually rely on. Stay tuned for part two of this series, and if you like us just a little bit, go ahead and subscribe. Consider checking this video out up here to learn another way of playing music that uses your ears and transcription software. That's great for learning blues harp riffs in particular. That's it for today. See you next time.